Well, good morning, YouTube. I'm going to start this thing. I'm going to make a carburetor gasket. I've got the headers on. my lines ran here and uh, I've got me a, I used a eighth inch by a quarter inch barb there into the transmission I'll probably replace that front one and I've got some aluminum line there so I'm gonna cut it splice that in a little trick for you if you ever have to put in a Mopar gasket, a two and a half inch piece of sewer pipe fits on there just perfect. Couldn't ask for anything better. I was afraid I might ruin my fitting, but it's an extra fitting. It didn't, it went right on little hammering and it went in straight I pulled my uh, drive shaft out of here and uh, I got it all painted up it's out here in, uh, in the air drying I had markings on it I didn't want to lose it was a 74 Dodge van and on the end I polished it up real good with a wire brush and then I put some paint on it and then wiped it off with a rag so it's got a very thin coat I think it'll be good to go into that seal and uh, so now all I got to do is uh, hook up that line I got some transmission fluid and uh, it shows what I poured in it you know about three quarts and it's showing it's a half pint low so it's good enough for the pump to pick up and we'll fill up this uh, radiator cooler here I got my radiator out and I'm gonna I'm gonna mock it up in there and just roughly set it in to hold that cooler just with a wire tie or something and uh, we've got my carburetor I got fuel so I should have uh, everything ready to go here in a little while first thing is to make up this transmission line well here's a little tip for you if you're going to run a uh, hose on a line it's got any pressure in it if you don't have something for the hose to hold on to it'll just blow off and ask me how I know I've blown off a bunch I've tried chewing them up with the file I've tried just about everything uh, nothing really works but if you take a, a flare tool and put a little flare on it like that does two things one it makes this big enough so the hose clamp won't let it f come off and the other thing it puts teeth in it that, uh, that will grab to the rubber so that's a little little tip for you just flare it a little bit don't get a great big flare on there it's hard to get the hose over it but uh, just flare it enough so it uh, won't come off of the the hose clamp will be stuck on there and won't blow off it's another little tip uh, I buy these ideal hose clamps you can get them cheaper you can get a whole box of them at Harbor Freight but they're really cheap and they they strip out and the ideal is really good because you can use a Phillips or a flat blade uh, what I do, particularly on a, 
something that's got pressure on it, I just use a little quarter inch wrench and I tighten that hose clamp up. You can do it much better than you can with a screwdriver. It won't leak and uh, it'll last. The little Chineseium stuff, that's all you need is to have one of them things fail. And when you get them tight enough to hold, they're right at failing. So that's a good tip for you. Just, uh, I don't know what they cost, like 50 cents a piece or something like that compared to a nickel. Probably 10 times as much as a regular hose clamp, but that's okay. They, uh, they work really good and they won't fail. Now I'm going to make a carburetor gasket. This is the thinnest piece of cardboard I could find. But I'll show you a little trick here. My dad taught me this. Is uh, You just take the... Put your cardboard over it and then just tap it right on the edge with a ball peen hammer and it'll start to cut the you can see right there it's gonna cut that cut the outside edge so basically I don't really care about the outside edge but I'm gonna tap it right around here in the middle and uh, get that marked and I'll cut it out with a razor blade well, there's all my uh, hoses put on. They're all tightened up good. I uh, got my drive line here, sprayed a lot of WD-40 so I didn't mess up that seal. Stuck it in, transmissions in park. Should be ready to start right now. Keys on. Our main power's on. I moved the key over here. So in case something happens, I can just jerk those wires loose. All this is all tight here on the radiator cooler. I sucked through the line. I put some gas in it. I put a gallon in it about a gallon maybe a little less and it was just covering the uh, the pickup tube so I poured about another half gallon maybe a gallon in it I might have two gallons in there and it's about uh, oh half an inch up the pickup tube I tightened up all this then it went around to the fuel pump side and sucked on it and uh, cranked it over a few times. I finally got fuel up to the pump and it squirted good. I probably turned it over another 10 times and uh, now I got fuel coming out of the accelerator pump. I'd had the choke propped open with a pair of pliers. But uh, I had turned that idle up quite a bit when I was trying to start it with starting fluid. Uh, so I set that back down. I just used tape to plug up my vacuum lines and plugs and whatever. It's a weird Christmas tree looking vacuum thing there. I plugged up the uh, PCV valve vent with tape. Should be all the vacuum lines are tightened up. I wanted to put a throttle spring on it, but it's closing good enough. It's not not real strong, but it's enough to snap it closed. So just a few turns, and it uh, I don't think it's got a lot of gas in it because the accelerator pumps are squirting real real lightly. But it should be ready to start it. <coughs> and uh, I know where the fluid levels are, so I put another quart of oil in it. 
brought it up on a stick. That stick is long. I forgot it goes all the way back to the back of the pan and then down. It must be three feet long. But anyway, all's tightened up. Uh, everything I can think of is done. I'll set you up on the camera and see if we can get it started. Well, here we go. I got the, uh, I checked the idle juts there, or idle screws. They're set at one and a half. So I set both of those the same. I uh, pumped it earlier, so I got a little gas in it. He's on. Should fire right up. Oh man! Like my accelerator pump. I put a spring on it. And that's the end of that. Ouch! Squirting a little. Try it again. Give it a little bit of that. Nope. Something's weird. Well, I check the uh, accelerator pumps. We're getting a nice full squirt now. I think. Uh, Probably just not turned it over fast enough, so I put the battery charger on boost. Hmm, don't sound like it's firing or I flooded it. Something bad? Try it some more. Don't sound like it's firing. I'm pretty sure my heat is good here. Didn't change any of that. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pull the plug and see if it's firing. Well, it turned out my fancy key switch here uh, looked like it was touching, but it wasn't. So it wasn't firing. I hooked it up now and I got power to it, so hopefully it'll start. <laughs> slow too. That battery's bad. So another thing I gotta buy. Smell a little gas. Let's see if it's gonna fire.
<coughs> I think I'll probably just turn it over too slow. Plus to that uh, carburetor is just really not all that cool either. But it started without a carburetor on it at all, so it should start now. I'm going to go ahead and set this uh, idle up. Oh, it's not even touching the not even touching the the uh, throttle. So I'm gonna bring it in till it touches there. That gave it about a quarter inch of play. It's squirting good. Probably just didn't have enough uh, throttle opening. All worried about everything and then it wouldn't even fire. Causing that. Well, I checked a bunch of stuff. I rotated it around. Got number one on the top dead cylinder again. Ten before. Checked the timing. The stuber is good. Checked the firing at the coil. It's firing good. It's firing at the plugs. Got plenty of gas being squirted in it. I just thought it would start up. I mean, it started with no carburetor on it at all. Well, I'm going to try it again. You know, I'm checking the accelerator pump. I put a bunch more gas in it. I'm going to try it once more, and then I'm going to use starting fluid. Try it again. If that don't work, I'm going to pull the plugs out and squirt starting fluid into the cylinders. It's just not firing at all. I know I got gas in it. I can smell it. But that uh, starter, that battery is really getting weak. I wonder if I flooded it. Let's just try it wide open. Well, apparently it was flooded. Wide open, it tried to start. Well, I uh, noticed when I tried to start it here, there was not just black smoke coming out of this thing over here instead of fire. And uh, this choke thing was all the way closed. So I did determine that it was, it was flooded because when I opened it up all the way, it started or tried to. So I just opened that choke up, stuck a pair of pliers in it to hold it open. Let's see what it does now.
can't breathe. just run around there and put the fan on but uh, definitely fired up and idled that was the problem that that choke was all the way closed it just flooded out wouldn't start so looks like it starts I'll check some fluids now and See if I got some. Uh, I know where the transmission fluid was at, so it should have went down a little bit. So I'll check that and see if it's pumping good. Well, we're going to try it once more. The, uh, the choke here was set three quarters of a turn closed. I mean. It just wasn't set right at all, but I got it right now where it's just not quite closing. I think that'll uh, probably be good enough. I got the idle set. Put on the fancy key here. And I want to check my oil pressure too. So let's fire it up and see what happens. not set I didn't see any oil pressure but I know it had oil pressure when I was cranking it and I didn't do anything to it so uh, I'm sure it's still got oil pressure I probably got a kink in that little plastic line or something anyway I would say that that's a success fired right up and it should start real easy. Try it once more. The kicks. In the trials and tribulation guys like and subscribe tell a friend and uh, I'll put some uh, I'll fool around here and get some radiator hoses and get some water in it so I can run it a little while and then I'll check out the transmission and see if it's gonna pump and shift and stuff <laughs>